We've arrived at the groundbreaker. Smells like grease and unwashed body. That's not the point. This hat was just not. Customs and inspection, right this way. Identification, please. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Be seeing you. Got a sec? Hey, Captain. That's not the point. This hat was just not. McRed, were you expecting? I see it now. I've had quite enough of you.
thought there'd be more machinery. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone on board, will be cooked alive. Those are... Wow. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Remarkable. How did you... I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. Well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. This is Halcyon News. Here we go.
Halcyon noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled... My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Me? No, but our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No, wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex, there were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? It must have been lost with Alex, then. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me, how did he die? Oh, awful business, that. But why? How? No, no. Best not to ask after the gory details. Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? 
Captain, I was hoping for a word. I was living in a relay station all the way out here. Captain, this place is supposed to be empty, yeah? Because I got the clearest feeling. Got enough. Go! 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 